The other day I found water under our cabinets. Now if we don't get to the root of this issue, it can ruin our cabinets or cause mold. So today we're going to address this issue. When Mary told me about the leak, I started to look for the source. I inspected underneath for any of the plumbing coming up to the, the faucet and it wasn't that leaking. So then I started spraying some water up here on top and found that the seal from the sink to the countertop is what was leaking. To get this job started, first we need to remove all the old silicone and we want to make sure to use a plastic tool so that we don't scratch the surface of our stainless steel or our countertops. Make sure to cover your drains to protect the rest of the plumbing from the debris that you're scraping off. Now with your plastic scraper, break the seal of the silicone and start scraping it away from the sink and the countertop. So we used a toothpick to clean out any bumpy debris that was trapped in between. We want to make sure this gets all cleaned out before we seal it back up. We used a shop vac to clean up any more debris that was left behind and any gunk that was left in the cracks. I'm going to be using some rubbing alcohol to clean off the area and make it dry and ensuring that it's dry I'm going to use a hair dryer to dry up all around where we're going to put silicone. everything clean and dry we're going to apply the silicone to the sink. silicone down, you want to take a gloved finger and smooth out the silicone, leaving a nice, clean, smooth seal. We have the sink all sealed up now. You're going to want to check the manufacturer's specifications on curing times before you use the sink. We'll put a link to what we use below. You want to make sure to check these seals often because driving these rigs down the road causes vibration and these seals will separate. Well, that'll do it for this video. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.